this is Fee Diamond in the Rough. How are you doing today? Um, day one back at work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but yeah. Um, interesting day, but I'll go through people's comments first. Um, so I've been made in the last 24 hours. And the one that I reckon is really funny is Rachel Ray going, the patience you have with your husband. <laughs> I literally would not be able to cope. Um, I may have mentioned that one yesterday when I was, um, did the chats. Um, when I get there and I complain about him doing this work, um, I'm not complaining about him doing the work itself or the fact that he's doing stuff or any of that. My complaint is that he does it without consideration of when he does it or how he does it or what I'm doing. Um, just had the chat tonight. Um, we've got the lights being done on Friday. Uh, the guy that's coming to do it is going to be here Friday morning. So. Um, won't be too bad actually because I'll, I'll get up normal time I'll just go back to bed at about 11 o'clock so I can sleep for the rest of the day but yet again that will be in the back room because they'll be in the bedroom anyway um yes yeah, so, I mean if you can imagine that sanding sound that was going on before you even drink your first cup of coffee for the day um yeah yeah so yeah, that was that was where that one come from. But yeah, just uh, yeah, going from there. So Rivka, interesting free forming. Um, love the way it's called free forming. That's a really cool way to put it. Free forming. Um, I did have who? I did have somebody that made a comment that wants to know how to do do that um, diamond painting like that. Um, and for anybody that is out there thinking about doing it just two things you need to look at one is how big you want to go now me I'm I'm mad crazy about going big I just most of my diamond paintings are big um, but what I do find is that I did too too big in reality I should have found something smaller but I didn't like that picture any smaller than it, when you're any smaller than I've had it anyway so yeah if you're going to do something that is um, bl a blank custom do don't go too big don't go too big if you put it in the threadbare program you'll get an idea of whether it needs to be big or not as it is a judgment call but um, you know this is going to take me quite a while that cu blank custom is going to take me quite a while to do Oops, I've got notifications coming through um, so yeah that's my bit of advice definitely do it um, and if you have been diamond painting for a while um, and you've got squares use your squares use your spare drills up um, I I did have to order drills but I didn't have to order that many in consideration there was a lot of colors that I already had enough of um, so yeah that's just where just touching on that one I think I'm speaking to I had Brittany quick asking me so yeah just giving her a little bit of advice there but yeah try and go for something smaller and if you go through like Threadbare, what that is something that Threadbare do say because it's all copyright stuff. So you actually have when you submit for the work to be produced, um, for the the pattern to be produced, uh, you you are actually confirming that you have rights to turn it turn the picture into a diamond painting. So. Don't just go to the internet and download a picture that you like. I will say, get one of your own photos. Get a pet, get something, but one of your own pictures. 
um, if you if you already draw or can paint, you know, do something for yourself that way, and uh, it will come out a lot better. And for me, I I love my customs. I love my customs. They they mean a lot. And when you're working on a custom, most of the times, for those of you guys that work on customs, while you're working on it, it brings back the memories of when the picture was taken or um, what the picture is about. I and mean, I did um, 60 by 90, the jetty in Esperance. Now that wasn't my picture. I was given, um, I was given the picture to turn into a diamond painting and it was actually raffled off so i didn't have the rights to that picture but i can tell you what as a custom that picture meant a lot to me and it brought me back a lot of memories so my if you're going to do one do a blank custom make it really personal make it something that um you want you would enjoy not just make it for um a job to tackle um, you know, I'm doing this diamond painting for the, the lion, lioness and a cub and it, it, it working on it brings me back to when we did the safari. So you know, that's why I love customs because they bring you back to when they happened or what they were about, uh, which is, you know, it's one of the reasons why I do it. It's, it's your own artwork. So that's, they, yeah, that's my recommendation there is just don't if you download something off the internet you will not have no not necessarily have the authority to actually put it onto a canvas for a diamond painting so just keep an eye out on that some countries have different uh, copyright laws and as we all know china has totally different copyright laws and they bypass any laws in the, in the world any other laws in the world unfortunately um hang on, next symbol. So yeah, that's yeah, my, my touching on that. Uh, little subject. <laughs> it's a it's a big subject. Um I will in this in this situation I will say to you, uh, um there's one thing that I hate using is the word stolen. Um it's such a harsh word it is a copyright infringement and we all have to respect the artists that put the work into stuff so don't go ahead and just download an image that you like if you find an image that you like and find the artist contact the artist and then see um, if they were prepared for you to turn into a diamond painting you need to get it right in writing from them um, yet for them to be able to do it. If you send a picture to any any company, um, they will believe that you have the rights to create that. They don't go looking into it. So you're in the same boat. You need to look into what you create. So yeah, go down the path of a custom picture, your own picture, and believe me, you will love it even more. Okay, enough about that. Um, Anna Dion. <laughs> what a mess that powder gets everywhere. Yep, that powder. That plaster powder. Again, ugh, a filler. Uh, yeah. Nathan managed to do a good job of cleaning that up though, so it's good. Loose drills in there. Okay, Kiki, what else have we got? Um, Tazzy Devil. <laughs> I thought the Oriental was a challenge. So that was the geisha from Royal Diamond Painting. Love the detail that's coming through. You can see this will be amazing. Thanks for sharing. Bo's priceless and his paw prints no doubt be through the house. Hope the doors are closed to carpeted areas. Have a good shift. So carpeted areas, the only spot with carpet in this house is this craft room. Um, yeah, because of Bo, well, because we have Bo and we have Boots, a cat, um, when we built, we had the option to go to, we had the option to actually, we had the option to actually turn around and 
instead of having carpet, we could go with the timber laminate floors. So we went with those because um, carpets are just so hard to look after when you've got animals. And Bo is a very is a short haired dog. Uh, so his his body hair are shorter than eyelashes and pricklier than an eyelash. Um, so which is why we don't have carpet anywhere except in the craft room. And the craft room is only because I put it there uh, because, well, I'm a klutz and I need something to stop the resin and the glitter from getting on the timber floors. <laughs> There's glitter through the house. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I don't know who Vortex is, but thank you for uh, commenting. Uh, I did see somebody make a comment about how they slept with, with wine. Well, hopefully I'll come across that one. So, SEE, thank you so much. Really enjoyed the chat. Having big pa She has big problems sleeping. Takes a long time to fall asleep. The one I do fall asleep, I'm up two, three hours later. I like to wake up. Yeah. That's the trick, is being able to get to sleep um, takes a lot of work to learn how to uh, learn how to sleep uh, um, yeah uh, for anybody that suffers like that I, I feel I do I feel sorry for you because I'm on the other side of it I know how to sleep but I also am very aware that if I get into some bad habits I'll stop sleeping <laughs> Um, hence why I think I made a comment back to to, to Essie that you know I that's why I stopped doing YouTube it's why I had to stop doing recordings and watching YouTube because I there wasn't enough hours in the day so I was staying up later and later and not getting going to bed and getting proper sleep um, it's a vicious circle okay uh, what else we got here Rivka so she has a glass coming up beautiful and she finally received her DAC. That's cool. Ah, there we go. There's Brittany's comment. And <laughs> I need help here. <laughs> Asking for help with the Linus and Cub with creating her own custom. Um, I will say Rebecca at, where is she? Um... What's Rebecca? Is she 487? Kids at 487 or something. Four kids at 187, something like that. She um, She's doing a Hade, which is pretty big. Um, I forgot what symbol I'm on. There we go. First remember now. Um, but she got her... Like I got my drills were... Um, leftover drills plus i did order from stitches and stones but she managed to find a company that does them in um what she said pots or jars and i when i saw that i so wish i'd known about that company i would have brought from them uh, instead of having to deal with little plastic bags and all of that stuff but yeah she she had the um had that there um <laughs> okay so Anna's bow real light schedule work doesn't walk doesn't he he sure does he was upset with me tonight because I didn't walk him uh weighted blanket um uh, if I had a weighted Nathan throws hits the blankets off him and they tend to end up on me <laughs> Anna so a weighted blanket would be uh pretty hard to deal with in the circumstances like that um most of the time fall asleep about six minutes sleep pretty well once in a while I'll toss and turn for hours finally fall asleep just when it's about the time to get up hate it when that happens oh yeah yep uh mine i will say that I got asleep today at work. I slept for about an hour at work on one of my breaks. We do have sleep pods at work. Uh, and I have been known to disappear into the sleep pod on my break and then come back out. Um, 
guy that's our acting supervisor. Hang on, I know there's one here somewhere. No. A uh, guy that's our acting supervisor at the moment. He, um, I've come back from my first break. And he looks at me and he goes, you've been asleep. And I just said, what makes you think that? And he goes, you look really fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah i i do i sleep at work um we have one sleep pod but we also have couches throughout the building um i might try and get a photo of the sleep pod i might actually take you for a little bit of a walk through the city maybe enjoy the streets of perth while they're so quiet um is that it for the sixes i think so yep um but yeah i might take you some I, where i work i can't do a lot of video footage because it's class is confidential and we get in trouble um but yeah there's some things we're able to share i might better see if i can what i can do about showing you the uh, sleep pod um julie so we've also got black cock you you also have the black yeah we have black cockatoos um, and they have some orange feathers on their wings. They're really beautiful. Um, Julie wanted a galah, have a cage set up and everything. Had a problem with cat is my cat Felix. She would torture it. So those plans are put on hold for now. Uh, there we go. <laughs> to help me sleep at night, I usually have a bottle of wine. Uh, good, good choice. <laughs> um, uh, we're not allowed to do that. Well, actually, no, we probably could do that, but we get drug and alcohol tested. So if you've still got alcohol in your system when you go to work at six in the morning, you could be possibly be leaving work pretty quick, a lot quicker than you expected. Yep, K's. Got a couple of K's in here. Um, that and the fact that I can't drink wine, so yeah. Um, and... <laughs> That's where, when uh, Julie said about having one as a pet. My my mum, um, when she was a kid, they had a pet galah, pink and grey. And she taught it to say, bite your bum. But they called this cockatoo, this galah, they called, they called him Moby Dick. Um, and for years, they, they had him for years. And then Moby Dick laid an egg, <laughs> so they called Adora. <laughs> it was just so funny. Um, my my grandparents had birds, um, budgies, to budgies, canaries, quail. Um, yeah, I, I, we Nathan and I are talking about another pet. And I'm actually on the side of getting a bird. Um, I did have a bird 11 years ago um, named Puss. Um, at the same time that I had boots. Um, so I had Puss and I had boots, you know, Puss and Boots. Um, I, I always found funny ways to name my, my pets. Um, so yeah, I had a pet cockatiel for a while, but um, poor thing, she got, she got egg bound. So we lost her and then I got a budgie and that was Speedo. I think I've had a discussion on a live about the fact that I called my budgie, my budgie Speedo. Um, if you're not Australian, you don't understand it, but uh, we, called him, we called him Speedo the budgie smuggler. Budgie smugglers being those type baiters that guys wear. Okay. Um, okay. Um, that's about it, actually. Was where else? That was the last of the comments, and that's taken me just about the whole twenty minutes to go through those comments. So. Um, yeah, uneventful day at work, but I've managed to talk to all the comments, talk through them and 
some of the comments here, the things that they bring me and make me think about. I've been able to share those, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, more comments. See if there's anything else you can say that brings up my memories from, from my memory bank. Um, yep. And give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit the subscribe button, what I listen about. And uh, bye for now.